like, you know, you know, when you like someone, you're not sure if they like you back and like in trying to make an effort, you do something and then you like regret it and like overthink it for the rest of the night. It's very specific. This is like a hundred times worse than that. <laughs> so this is a part two in our series of The Story of Us, which is where we tell you guys awkward stories about how we came to be because it was hella awkward. And this week we're going to tell you guys the story of our first date. Um, first date? We had been friends and we had just started working together. I'd probably known you, what, a month? I keep in mind, I had all summer to fall in love with you. <laughs> I via, didn't know via that, you, that we are young video. <laughs> yeah, you had, you had thought I was cute via mm -hmm. he saw a YouTube video that his cousin like when we had met initially um, And then since then he had watched videos of me singing online and thought I was really cute, which I didn't know You and were easy to fall in love with Really early on I had seen a trailer for this movie that looks really it looked like an independent like weird movie That could be really weird, but it also looked like it'd be super cool and I showed it to Harris. I showed him the trailer. You showed all your friends first. I did. I showed all my friends and my roommates, and they were like, this looks stupid. It's a movie about an acapella group. And that movie was pitch perfect. I thought it looked really cool, and everybody that I had shown it to had said, like, that looks really dumb. And then I came over to your house, your apartment, and I was like, hey, tell me what you think about this video. And I remember you telling me, like, you're the first person I've shown this to that thinks this is really great. Everyone else thinks it's dumb. And Harris is like, oh yeah, we should see it sometime. Like, I think that's all you said, right? Mm -hmm. it, Fast forward. You know, to when its release date was like two months later or a month and a half later. Mm -hmm. And I was working as a barista and um, I was finishing taking out the trash at work and I get a text or a call. I don't even remember if you called or texted me. I don't know. I think it was like a text and you're like, what are you doing right now? And I like didn't anticipate anything. I was like, I'm just taking out the trash, getting off of work in a little bit. You assumed that I meant, hey, let's go to the local theater down the street and see it. By the way. No, 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 no. I didn't know until we got in the car. I had no idea what we were doing until you texted me that night. It was literally like 11 o'clock at night. I promise. Because I, I think remember you remember very... wrong. Because I, I remember the surprise being you thought you thought we were just going down the street. By the way, there was only one theater in, that was in Utah it. showing this. This wasn't like, this wasn't a big release. And I, in my head, assumed when you asked me that there are more people coming. It may have omitted details, but I didn't lie to you. It wasn't like, would you like to uh, attend totally a movie different. with me totally on a different. date? It was not like that at all. It was a very casual, like, hey, Pitch Perfect's coming out. Like a very friendly. Invite. It was like, the only way I'd get you to go. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And he picks me up from my job, and we're the only two people in his car. And I, I like kind of else. assumed maybe that there would be people at the theater once we got there. And the nearest movie theater to us is maybe two miles away from where I worked. We get on the freeway and just keep going. And I was like, hey, uh, where, where, what theater are we going to? And he's like, oh, it's only playing in South Jordan, which is an hour away. Yeah, it was, it was the only one playing. I figured you knew that. It's been an hour drive to the date, which at this point, I, I still didn't know it was really a date. I was like hoping that there'd be other people there, like a group of people. And we drove an hour there and we, we just missed talked. the beginning of the movie. We never saw the vomit scene at the beginning. I don't really remember what we did or didn't see. I was just distracted by the fact that I'd been bamboozled into a date. Then we get to the theater. And I'm, nobody's there. So I'm like, okay, this is looking like a date situation. I need to make sure I draw oh, a line in the sand. Oh no. And I go, I'm like, oh, like I start looking for my wallet to like pay for the tickets. And you're like, oh, I already bought the tickets ahead of time. I had, I had all the tickets. And he was like opening the doors for me and being like gentlemanly. And- Cause everyone hates a gentleman. It's just that I was like- Can you hear all the things Kenzie's complaining about right now? I just had friend zoned you already from the like I just didn't even, it was like a brick wall like I was mm -hmm. so oblivious to the fact that you were into me I had no clue so let's get back to my perspective so we get there now we start watching the movie we walk in during like the opening credit and we watch the whole movie and like I was very aware oh my god very aware of how close to my hand your hand was the whole time. I hardly even saw the movie because I was just like trying to get up the courage to hold her hand. I had no idea. I was all fully invested in the movie in day, front of me. All <laughs> day, I just wanted to hold her hand. I'm so glad looking back that I didn't try until like the last two minutes. By the way, it took me the entire movie to pick up the courage to try to hold your hand. It makes my heart hurt. I'm okay, so sorry. can we reenact this? Can you see our hands? Let's zoom out here real oh quick. My gosh. So okay. pretend our hands are on the hand rest. Finally, like two minutes okay, left. Okay, and in the I'm movie. like watching I this. I reach over and I go like this, and like her hand doesn't move. And my face goes like this. So I'm I'm holding on to her hand, which is basically is a, a statue hand. And I literally don't move it. And it I just don't stays know, like completely I don't know straight. what to do. 
Because she's not, she's not pulling Look away. Look how awkward this is. He's trying to hold my hand and I kept she's it not, so straight. She's not pulling away, but she's not holding it back. Do I keep holding it? Do I let go? And what my brain. This is my chance. I don't know. And my hand's like, oh my gosh, you grab my hand. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't want to hold my hand. I don't want to hold my hand. How do I get out of this? What do I do? And I'm just keeping my hand completely flat and staring dead ahead at the screen with like, Deer in headlights eyes. I mean, we so probably sorry. held hands for like 30 whole seconds like I'm this. I'm so sorry, and it felt like an eternity. I'm it, just like, what am I gonna do? For both of us. What are you and do? I finally turned to her and I said, is this okay? And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just let go of my hand. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It makes my heart hurt thinking about it. I'm so sorry. This is real life, guys. This is a movie. Okay, so that awkwardness we happened. We walked out of the theater. And then within like a minute of me saying no, I forgot about it and just moved on because I was like, okay, that awkwardness is over and done with. She repressed it is what she means. <laughs> it was like embarrassing for me, but it was like a lot more embarrassing for him. So I just kind of was okay. I'm like still acting all normal. You and might I'm remember more details than I do after this I remember point. walking out of the movie. I was like, oh, what'd you think? Like talking to you, trying to like move past the awkward. And you were just still very quiet and like not really. Yeah, I'd been turned down hard. And then we get in the car, I'm still talking like, and at this point I feel like I was overcompensating for how awkward Probably. you were being that I was like, nothing's awkward, nothing can be awkward. <laughs> and she was pretending like it didn't happen, which made it even worse for me. Cause I was like, why is she pretending that nothing happened just now? And, can we um, like, can we talk about this? Can we address this? And I remember I got in the car and I like pulled out my phone and was like, oh, like there's this, I had introduced you to Imagine Dragons. They're brand, like they're pretty new at this point. This is four almost, this is five years ago. And I was like, oh, they have this new album. Like, let's listen to some of it. I was like, oh, this is my favorite song. And I'm just listening to it. He's being totally quiet. And then you turn down the music and you're like, can we talk about what happened in there? And I was like, no, like we were doing so well. Yeah, I remember being like, like, just be an adult and talk about this. I was like, this. what do you mean? And I couldn't get you to talk about it. And you were just like, can we just, like, about me trying to hold your hand and you not, letting me hold your hand. And I was like, what is there to talk about? Nothing was weird, everything was fine. I'm fine, you're fine, That's pretty much We're how the fine. conversation went, yeah. <laughs> and I don't even remember much after that. I think I blacked it out. You basically just shrugged it off. And I, just tried to I it. was so afraid of every text I sent to her for the next couple weeks. Oh. My heart. After that, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> um, but that was our first like date, not mm -hmm. our first official date. I don't think we had our first official date until New, like, eight months later. February. <laughs> that was our Valentine's. Yeah. Was our first official date. Yeah, that But last even then, you tricked me link into to it. that here. <laughs> even then, you tricked me into that. Date. It took that. Much I think our first official date where you asked and I said yes knowingly that I was going on a date with you, wanting to go on a date, wasn't until like. You know what we need to talk about next? What? We need to talk about your birthday party. <gasps> I <laughs> forgot about my birthday party. Oh my gosh, I forgot my birthday party. Guys, we've got so many of these stories. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even like, we didn't even plan that. That no, just like I really forgot came to mind. There's so many of these uncomfortable, awkward stories. And then, he just was so sweet and kept on trying. I was literally the best guy, the best guy in the world to you. I'm sorry. I married you, so you can't be mad. That's the rule? Yeah, that's I'm the rule. not allowed to be mad because you married me. Yeah, it worked out in your favor, so <laughs> okay. really. All right, if you think about it, story. If you think about it, had any of these things gone differently, what if- We, we would have gotten married so much sooner. Are you kidding me? We didn't need to get married sooner. We got yeah, married so fast. Yeah, you wouldn't so have fast. missed out on the Caribbean cruise. Okay, I think that we're gonna just stop right there. Uh -huh. If you guys want to hear more of these videos, let us know in the comments below. Um, we will see you guys again next week. Uh, subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff. Okay, bye!